Hello and welcome to the Wednesday News Show. Uh, we're Hello. not in the studio, right? We're not in the studio. Where are we, Hugo Pilcher? We're in the Arcteric stand at Outdoor 2018 in Friedrichshafen, which is where we've been for the last couple of days, checking out all the best new gear, trying to get it all down on some kind of camera for you. So it's been pretty good though, right? Have you gone mad yet? I've, it's like six o'clock on our final day here and I've gone, <coughs> I've got, I've lost it. What have you been doing? Uh, we have been pitching ideas for new videos. We've been filming loads of products. Uh, we've been trying to steal as much food as possible. Uh, Can I ask what this is? Well, what that is, is that is a microphone that has been botched into an upright position because someone... Somebody? ...forgot the SD card, didn't they? Yeah. It was me, I forgot the SD card. So if the audio is a bit dodgy, it's my fault. That's fine though, we can move past it. Yeah, we, we've had a few beers, we'll be fine. We can move past it. Should we do the gear first or should we do the news first? Let's, let's do the news, let's get the news done. Okay. I think. Do you want to go first? Uh, yeah, because I think you've got an exciting it's story. Super exciting. So every time we go to Art Terror, sorry, uh, Black Diamond, which is next door, there's a lovely lady on reception, mm -hmm. and that lovely lady on reception climbed the second ever 8C female boulder the other day. Yeah. Caddy Lehman. What's her name? Caddy Lehman. You just said it. <laughs> I just said it. Yeah. Uh, amazing achievement. She kind of came out of nowhere. Like I know she's been, she's a hard climber. Yeah. But just has taken the world by storm. We sat her down yesterday had an interview so that's going to come soon but check out a few of these photos which are probably going as i speak probably. yeah but she's a lovely lovely lady and she uh i don't know it kind of adds to the rostrum of black diamond kind of having the strongest uh members of staff ever like roland hemmetsberger yeah. the guy who works full-time for them in this climbing 9a and has a series out of black diamond at the moment by the way mm -hmm. and is a very nice guy and, and actually currently has a mustache yeah caddy nice one roll uh, she doesn't have a mustache no, roland does no. Do you think the Epic TV team rivals the Black Diamond team in terms of climbing ability? Well, you are really setting the standard of it. Ah, you can't. I can't talk about it. Ooh, that's something we can't talk about. Almost, almost spilt it. Yeah, spilt it's the beans. Exciting. Uh, so, nice one, Caddy. That's the first bit of news. Okay, next bit of news is that Adam Hocking has done an E9 in Buttermere in Lake District. It is called Blood Eagle. It was reported on UKC. Uh, it weighs in the E96C, so pretty hairy. Uh, nice one, Adam. Really, really cool. Have you heard of Adam much before? I've, like, heard him in and out kind of thing. In and out. Like, I mean, there's no photos from that ascent. No. It just shows that he's a little bit underground. You know what I mean? Um, but also, yeah. where he was climbing, that's the latest thing where we were. Like that same crag, a very a quite really? close crag. Now it was Buttermere that we were the other day with uh, Katie and Charlie. Check out that video. Put yeah, the link in the description good. below. Oh, um, don't say that. Okay. Every time we say that, I have to put the link I'll, in the description I'll link below. It in the, I'll link it in the YouTube thing. Uh, <laughs> And then, but basically, yeah. So, um, but we were there, and it's like it is amazing. So, um, beautiful crag, Lake Lake District. I would highly encourage anyone who wants to do some track climbing in the UK to go there. That's what I mean. Bottom here. Uh, moving on to speed climbing records, uh, which we covered a couple of weeks ago, and I do have to have a caveat here. We covered. You love the word caveat. Caveat You've been is it so often it's a great in the word. last three weeks. Three weeks. We covered the fact that uh, Alex Honnold and Tommy Caldwell were close to breaking the two-hour record. They then broke the two-hour record on the day the video was released, and yeah. then I totally forgot to talk about it. Yeah, so they broke it. Uh, 158 something something seconds. Yeah, so sorry. 27 seconds. Sorry, everyone, I missed that. Uh, but more speed records is that Colin Haley has frankly dashed up the Cassin <laughs> frankly Ridge. Dashed. Frankly dashed. I'm so posh. Uh, he's he's <laughs> smashed up the Cassin Ridge solo uh, in eight hours something minutes uh so an incredible achievement and he reckons that because it snowed uh that if it hadn't snowed he would have gone like an hour faster so that's yeah, outrageous. right he says that though doesn't he yeah he's he's getting he old that. he's getting on now how old is he i don't know probably about my age <laughs> i've always wanted you're Cassin, peaking I, I peaked i think <laughs> I've always, another hint the Cassin, another almost spilled, spilled bean. you can't tell them no 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 what does everybody think he's talking about I don't know. If, I, I think we're being way more cryptic than we think we are. I don't think anyone has any clue what we're talking about. Uh, so let's. I think they do. Should we move on to gear? Yeah, move on to gear. Because we're at a trade show. There's um, been a lot of brands um, putting out lots of new, very cool gear, and we thought we'd just grab a couple of bits that we like the most. Yeah. What is your favourite bit of gear? Okay, this is outrageously simple, right? Yeah. So, Black diamond cam. Now you'll notice, Hugo, that this black diamond cam isn't in an open position. Why not, Matt? Well, that's because it has this amazingly simple trigger system. So when it's this is only for the larger cams, and mm -hmm. they usually have a mass. This is a medium sized one, but the big ones are huge, right? Yeah. You want them all dangling in your harness open, it takes mm -hmm. up a lot of room, it's just awkward. This lever keeps it nice and compact. So you get to your crack, you shove in the crack, and shove in the crack, shove in the cam into the crack, press the trigger. 
<laughs> drop it, but it immediately pops open. So that lever holds it shut. When you flick it, yeah. it opens up. Nice. It's amazingly simple. Uh, I can't believe no one's thought of it before. Uh, and I imagine that a lot of people are going to be thinking about it now and installing this on their new cams. But Black Diamond got there first. I think this is simplicity and genius from Black Diamond. So simplicity nice. at its best. Mm -hmm. Nice one, BD. I really like that. That's very cool. It's awesome. We, I is went that the in there. C4? I uh, yeah, we've got new C4s as well. But this What's is the big, 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 big one. Okay. I literally went in there and was like, can I borrow a cam? And they looked at me like I was like very suspicious. And then you said, I know Caddy and Roland, so it's okay. Yeah. What's nice. your favorite bit of gear? My favorite bit of gear. Now, every, every time I go to one of these things, I like basically go around and I'm like, wow, that's new, that's new, that's new. Pretty much every time, everybody's like, that's been out a couple of years. Uh, I'm not the most perceptive person when it comes to these things. However, this is actually new. This is the new Testarossa. Mm. And I mostly like it because it's very, very, very good looking. It is. And, uh, I'm very impartial to a lace-up. I don't know about you, but I just think they look... I've dabbled. Very, very... Uh, I don't want to say sexy, but It looks it like is, a Ferrari, doesn't it? It's, it's a Testarossa and it looks like a Ferrari. They've changed the colour somewhat. It's a very similar design, but like... Just look at it. It looks they, so beautiful. They did a briefing on it and he was like, yeah, this is new and this is new. And all I was thinking was like, yeah, but it's red now. Yeah. It's red now. Is it a new heel? It's a new heel. There's loads of amazing technology in it, but it's red. Yeah, yeah. Nice one. Lots of yeah, X X Vibram, XS Grip 2. I think that was on the same one, that was on the last one anyway. Yeah, oh did you know the last one's 13 years old? The first Testarossa? No way. Yeah, I know, I didn't know that. Do you know who climbs in the Testarossa? Who climbs who's just recently climbed the 9B and been on the 9B counter? He has to do Jonathan Segrist. Very good. He'll be having them, I would imagine. Yeah. Uh, right, gear done, and I want to launch a competition. Now Salewa have this amazing thing called Get Vertical, and the idea is it's sort of like an alpine slash climbing training <laughs> course. They're in Austria uh, doing these courses, so there's an alpine climbing uh, and a mountaineering course, and you can win a place on this. So I'm going to show you the teaser, and then I'm going to show you how to win a place on this incredible competition. If you fancy winning a place, then click on the link in the description below. You simply upload your best mountain photos to the website, get your friends to vote on it, and you can win one of the 20 places available. There's also an online game on the website where you can instantly win Salewa products and prizes. It's, it's worth an entry, surely, like 20 places available, so if you've got a cool pick and you've got loads of friends, make sure you upload it. Yeah, awesome. That sounds really cool. And I like Salewa clothes. Yeah, you've got a few, haven't you? I do like Salewa clothing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's wicked. It's good kit. Uh, that's kind of it, I think. We're done. From the, from the, and this is our last thing here at Outdoor. We're finished. We're going to yeah. go home now. But stay tuned for uh, videos on EpiTV.com, on our YouTube channel, on Climbing Daily. There's a, a gear show coming this Friday with um, Matt's favourite picks. Does it include the Testarossa? Does it include the C4 Can't cam give it away. Cam? Can't give it away. We don't know. But it'll probably go into more detail than I went into about the Testarossa. So stay tuned. Keep out of trouble. Be nice to your mothers and fathers, because it was Father's Day on Sunday, and I'll stop talking. See you later. See you later. Bye-bye. That was good. Yeah.